guys, it's Joni from SimpleLivingMama.com and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we're going to be talking master closet organization. And the master bedroom is actually the last place that we clean and declutter in my 30 day decluttering challenge. Um, I did not film me decluttering the closet simply because I did it over a series of days. I didn't have a dedicated time to actually get it done. But I will show you what I have, what the things that I am throwing away and the things that I'm donating. And then I will show you how I've got the closet organized. It's not 100% done because I do need to get a few more baskets, but I will show you um, what I've done. And I think it might be helpful for some of you. So let's get started. So this is the trash pile. Um, this is everything that was in the closet that I am getting rid of. And then I have one bag of things to donate. I'm gonna open the door. Okay, guys. So, this is my fairly organized, except kids have been in here messing with stuff, so I gotta fix that. Um, my fairly organized master closet, okay? Now, what have I done to get it this way? First of all, um, these are my clothes, at least the ones that I hang up. I do have a dresser for a great majority of clothes, but like my blouses and stuff I hang up. And I've kind of like color coordinated it. So I've started with white and then I've just gone down like yellows, purples, pinks, um, dark purple, blue, browns, and then blacks at the end. Here are my extra hangers. Guys, I didn't go out and buy all matching hangers. I am a use what you have person. So yeah, my hangers are not all coordinating. These are a few baby things. And then I have my um, two year old things in here still. We haven't gotten the boys room set up to move him in there yet. So he's got some of his clothes in here. And then I have some bins down here, our little fabric bins for his clothes and my craft bag in here as well. Now right here, these are some things that I need to put up in the boxes that are up in the top of the closet that I'll show you in just a minute. And then I just have a couple of books and some mementos hanging out right here. And then my foot bath is in here because there's nowhere else to put it. But what I have up here, I have containers for all six of my kids and this holds like their baby stuff, like their their first outfit, coming home outfit, and their little blankets and stuff like that. So each kid has their own tub, and I put all of those little memento things in there. And then what I bought for the closet were these gray weave um, storage bins. I found them at Walmart. They were only $6.98 a piece, and they're pretty large. So what I did was I took the stuff that was just sitting up here, and I um, like categorized it and put it in each bin. So I have wedding memorabilia in one bin. I have baby stuff, like a couple of baby carriers and a breast pump in another one. And then I have beach towels in another one. And then the last one is kind of like just miscellaneous things. This box right here actually has like my personal birthday cards and stuff that I didn't want to get rid of. So all of that is in that box. This right here has a few decorative pictures I didn't want to get rid of and my hats. And then what I need to get, this is going to be the more unorganized side of the closet. I have, um, I need to get a basket for these blankets because they stay in here. And then up here, my husband has, um, his sweaters, which we have not lived anywhere. And oh my goodness, look, that was put in here to uh, take it away from a toddler. Okay. <laughs> um, we have not lived somewhere where it's really been cold enough for sweaters, but those are his sweaters. So I'm going to get a basket for his sweaters. And then I need to take, I haven't even taken the stuff down yet. I need to put that, um, those photo albums over here in my bin with my frames. And then we have this really big safe in here and it takes up almost the whole wall, which I'm not crazy about, but I didn't want it anywhere out in the open. So this is where it lives and um, it has become a little collector of things, um, threads and stuff that just needs to be put up. So I will be getting around to putting all of that up 
my dresses are hanging over here so I have my church dresses and stuff and on the other side of the um, safe I have my wedding dress right here I have um, our big suitcase and this bin right here actually my husband used to work in an office so all of his office clothes that he doesn't want to get rid of are just hanging out in there and then I haven't really done anything with his clothes like I said my Kids have been in here earlier this morning, so I've got to fix that. They were trying to play with daddy's clothes, but um, so that's where his stuff is. And then all of our shoes are on this shoe rack that I found at Aldi. And that's pretty much it. It did take me several days to get this place cleaned out. Um, and I still got a little bit of work to do, but I am so happy with the progress because the this shelf was just... The stuff was just thrown up there and it's so nice to have the bins with all of the stuff in them and I think this will also help tremendously whenever we have to move stuff's not gonna have to be just tossed in boxes it's already in its own little storage container you know the things that we didn't want to get rid of so that was just a quick overview of our closet. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that you've been motivated to get your home clean and decluttered. Um, I will talk to you guys in the next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye.